Hi. Pretty much every day, DIY Doctor gets sent one kind of product or another that somebody has either invented or discovered and asks us to promote it or review it. Unfortunately, the majority of these um, go in the bin. However, every now and again, something comes along that is absolutely outstanding. And this particular product, the Simply Build It um, workbench bracket, in this case, um, Simply Build It as a set of projects introduced by um, a very well-established company called Simpson Strong Tie. They have sent us this Simply Build It kit for a workbench. So we had a look at it and we thought, you know, this is absolutely amazing. It allows us to join um, three pieces of timber going in three different directions at a right angle, at right angles to each other in a very, very strong way indeed. So rather than all of the, the timber joints that would ordinarily be required to get that kind of strength, this um, tie does the job. It comes um, with eight of these brackets, simply build it brackets, um, galvanized brackets, they won't rust. Um, it comes with eight of those in the kit, as well as a very, very comprehensive set of instructions, fantastic instructions. Um, um, three boxes of dome screws with a little washer on them. I'm gonna see if the cameraman can get a, a close up of that screw for me. So dome head screws with a cross head in there. Yeah, I can see on the monitor that that's, that, that's looking good. Um, and these give it extra strength, hold the surfaces together, hold the plate to the timber, as well as looking quite pleasing to the eye. So it comes with uh, boxes of those. There's also uh, a normal set of countersunk screws to hold the counter down. We'll get to that later on, so that there's nothing that isn't flush on the uh, the countertop itself or the workbench top. So all of that comes in the kit together with, as I said, eight of the ties themselves. So let's put that out of the way. The, the slogan, which the first thing we saw, we loved. Um, simply build it, just add timber. Uh, loved it. Um, so that made us look twice. And of course the, the, the name Simpson Strong Tie um, is known to us and has been for, for donkey's years. So, that's the, the tie itself, that's the bracket itself. You need, of course, to add the timber, just as it says on the tin. The instructions for the lengths of timber, the sizes of timber, are clearly set out in the instructions. And we have used sawn timber, that is timber um, that hasn't been prepared in any way. Um, Simpson, uh, the Simply Build It uh, leaflet gives you the tools that you will need as well. And we've, it, it says that we need a saw, a screwdriver. We're gonna use an electric screwdriver and we would suggest that if you have one, you use that too. A spirit level, as you can see there. We've actually added to that a carpenter's square, um, tape measure, and some sandpaper. Because sawn timber is the cheapest way of buying timber. But of course, it does come uh, a little bit rougher than prepared timber. So a bit of sandpaper to sand that down is a good idea. The very first thing that we do, these are the upright, these are the corner posts. These are 850 millimeters long. And so that we can demonstrate for you on video, instead of pencil lines, we've used a, a Sharpie so that you can see exactly what we're doing. And the first instruction is to mark the top of your corner post at 13 millimeters down. And we've marked that all the way around using the carpenter's square. So mark all of the corner posts in that way. And then 150 millimeters up from the bottom, you do exactly the same thing again. So if you do that on all four posts, and this shows you where to put your bracket. So the top bracket slides on to the post. And as you can see, if I turn that round, we can slide that down on to our line there, push the bracket in well, and fix that through the screw holes. We can do exactly the same thing if I get another bracket, making sure that all of our corners are in the same place on each post, otherwise we're gonna get mixed up at the end. That will slide up to the 150. and that will fix 
in position there. So this post becomes, for example, our front right post, front being nearest me. So that goes on the right hand side. Our cross rails go across here and along here. So our side rail here and our cross rail, our longer cross rail for the workbench goes across there. So in true Blue Peter style, here's one that we made earlier and you can see that I've screwed that into every screw hole. Now it might be an idea, um, the, the Simply Build It instructions say to leave two or three of these screws out so that we can get a little bit of fine adjustment. Obviously this is for demonstration purposes as to how those screws look when they're in place. Okay, So that we can see that we've got those rails working together. And then we're going to move on one further step and show you an end panel in place with the the top rail in place just to give you some idea of how this goes together and how important it is that you check that the I've got to turn that round so that the camera can see everything in one shot it's important that you watch this that make sure that the corner brackets are in the same place when you put your side panels in otherwise the whole thing doesn't fit then of course you slide the bottom rails in position and do the same thing. So having got some idea of how this lot goes together, um, we're now going to move this workbench out of the way, carry on on the floor, um, and then you can watch us putting it together. You'll see when I do that, when you've got this together, you'll realise just how versatile these brackets are, because this bracket, for example, doesn't have to be here. You could drop this down further and make two shelves. This bracket doesn't have to be if the camera can drop down at this level. This can be moved up to make another um, post. And I'll give you one idea of, of some of the things on, on the um, simplybuildit.co.uk website. You can see the projects that they're suggesting you use. And we've actually thought of another. If, for example, this were turned upside down, This would fit nicely up to the rafters in your garage. Um, and this would screw into those rafters at the top of the garage. And this would give you a rack over your car because most people's workshops are in their garages um, and there's not a lot of room. So being able to fit a rack up to the rafters is a great idea. So that's some of the versatility of Simply Build It and brackets one of the projects. Okay, so now we're going to move everything out of the way and continue doing this on the floor. Try not to drop the uh, drop your tools. Now that is a very, very solid workbench indeed. And it's time to put the, the top on and the shelf. So let's run through quickly how we're gonna do that. We've got the timber cut to the correct size. Again, you'll see that by cutting it, we've got a few rough edges, which can be sanded down quite easily. And then, an off cut of timber, cut square as I've said, into each corner 
and mark round the timber in all four corners. Okay. Now that's fairly straightforward. Mark your four corners out for your shelf. And again, here's one that we made earlier. And I'll try and drop this in so that you can see what I'm doing. It doesn't matter if you cut these. Again, you know, we're not in an ideal world, and you know, this is this is a workbench. And my advice again is to cut these just slightly bigger than they need to be. Okay? Just slightly bigger, even the thickness of a saw blade. We do have a very good page on DIY Doctor called Sawing Timber. And it's about how to allow the thickness of the blade for making some saw cuts. So I'm going to slot this in um, through here. Okay, and we're going to drop that into place. And because it's a nice tight fit, give it a bang down. And there we have a shelf made for our workbench. And then of course, it's a simple matter of putting the worktop on. Now, again, in the instructions, um, it allows for an 18 millimeter work surface. And of course, again, that, that, that might be better. However, you can use a 12 millimeter, which is much, much cheaper to buy, and just insert another timber through the middle. The reason that thicker worktops are used is if we're chiseling or something on the top, we want to take all of the spring out of that worktop. So by inserting another strut, or a noggin as we call it, maybe even two in between these, you can simply cut these and screw them in from the side. That will allow you to use a thinner top, which will save you money, and still take all of the spring out of your workbench. Okay. Okay. So now we're going to fit our worktop, and there's a couple of ways of, of doing this. Um, both really would be better if we drilled a pilot hole, and you can see a very good page on pilot holes and countersinking on the DIY Doctor website. Um, the the dome-headed screws with the built-in washer that are, are supplied. Um, are ideal for fixing the, the worktop. And as you can see, if we can get the camera to do a close up, they do stay slightly proud of the work surface. So perhaps a better method of fixing them, and this is why Simply Build It have supplied the countersink screws, a better way of fixing the worktop is to use a countersink bit which we would just gently sink into the timber just an eighth of an inch or so, a couple of millimetres and then using the countersink screws Fix that down into the timber and we can see from that close up that that is completely flush, if not a little under flush. So that's what we would recommend. This allows us to use this as a workbench with a lathe to flat timbers on there for marking out, planing or whatever without being obstructed. So that is how you put together a Simply Build It workbench. The brackets themselves are very, very, very versatile. There are any number of applications you can use them for. You can buy two or three kits and extend. Um, you, you don't actually have to stick to these sizes. Using this size timber, you can make this into a wider um, workbench with the same number of brackets, the same you know, single kit. Um, by using a couple of kits, you can stand it upwards and make all sorts of shelving units from them. And it is, it's so solid. I, I can't get over how solid it is. But such is the reputation of Simpson Strong Tie all over the construction industry, and, and we're very, very pleased they've moved into DIY with Simply Build It. Highly recommended, it's a product that you will see us using a lot in a variety 
of um, places. And again, we, we would strongly suggest that you, if, you, if you're doing anything like this, then you, you get a kit. You can come to DIY Doctor to buy the kit. Simply order from us. You'll see a link at the end of this video. Click on that link and that will take you through to an order form where you can order your kit. Uh, and all that remains for me to say is enjoy your DIY with Simply Build It.